Just 10 cents a day helps fund local programs like Scenic Stops, Northwest Ohio Journal, and BGSU Brain Game. Watch, connect, explore. is a festival that is celebrated all over the world. We celebrate it as the day that one of the gods in Hindu mythology, Lord Rama, uh, actually defeated a demon and saved his wife uh, from, from this demon and returned back to their palace. The whole story of Ramachandra or Lord Rama uh, depicts on how uh, someone should live fair and just in the world. So even though the situations around you might be difficult or it might not be in your favor, it's always about choosing what is right rather than what is easy. And so we celebrate it as a triumph of light over dark, which is why it's it's known now as the Festival of Lights. We we cook a lot of really great food. Before we eat it, it needs to go it needs to be offered to the God first. The kids um you know they try to sneak into the kitchen and steal things while they're cooking. The whole house should be bright with like little Christmas lights. So Lakshmi is the goddess of wealth and uh, we kinda celebrate or worship her during that day and buy new clothes and jewelry. All dress up and look really pretty. So this would be something that we've gone out and shopped for, you know, something fancy and colorful. Uh, celebrating that we all have uh, enough to eat and enough to spend and uh, we're all fulfilled and thanking her for everything that's given to us. Everyone would just get together and eat and we'd be bursting firecrackers the whole night. Like in US, we don't have anything to do with the license and stuff. Anybody can. Yeah, no <laughs> rules and regulations on the day of Diwali. We like to light up the whole sky on Diwali night as, as a way to celebrate. And you know, it would be a time for all the kids to get together and play and you know, meet up and something out of the norm. We all have our unique little traditions that have, you know, been passed down many generations and that are special to the place that we originate from. The way that we celebrate Diwali Mela in, in BGSU is we have this three hour long event. All of the tables had these lovely bowls filled with water and candles with rose petals floating in the water. It was sort of our modern way of um, making the lamps. We invited the people to sit down and we ended up having a variety of performances on the stage. Dancing is, is a really important part of our culture and it's a way for us to express uh, you know, our happiness at the celebration. And this year we had a, a lot of really uh, diverse groups performing uh, different styles of dance from different parts of India. There was a um, semi-classical Bengali dance um, that was actually performed by some of our Indian students. Some more modern Bollywood style dancing, which was actually, I think, a little bit different than things that I had seen in the previous year. And we also had many groups come in from outside the university. So we had a few children's groups performing like Egyptian cane dance and uh, Israeli veil dance, which is uh, two uh, Middle Eastern form, forms of dance. Uh, and the really nice thing this year was we, we were able to involve a lot of students from diverse backgrounds. And one of our Indian students actually performed a song. She was singing. And we had a fashion show as well. It's basically a way for us to showcase uh, different components of our culture that maybe people in the rest of the world are not aware about or things that they may have seen because of the media but they don't really know in much detail. One thing that I thought was very exciting this year was we had a, a really nice mixed group. Um, when I'd seen Diwali Mela the previous year, it was mainly the Indian students promoting Indian culture. And when you come in and see a show, it's very nice. You can experience it for a short amount of time. It's three hours and then you're gone, you're done. But we had this lovely group of girls um, from the Latino Student Association who were working for months totally immersed in this Indian dancing. And they worked very, very hard, and they actually took away something with them more than just a one-off experience. It actually touched their hearts a little bit deeper. It would be really excellent to get more of the BGSU involved in this. So we can have a, a sort of cross-cultural experience. We can learn from each other. To our wonderful audience, if you're watching us on Phoenix Stops, and if you'd like to get involved with ISA, watch some amazing performances and have really awesome Indian food, then come to Diwali Mela 2013. We don't know the date yet, but we'll let you know. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> so
Sorry. Just have to throw that in. Scenic Stops is brought to you by WBGU-TV. Support great local programming by giving now at wbgu.org slash pledge.